Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, as you can see, we will going to look at ClickSense Corel or correlation function that is available in both chart and script. So correlation is basically a statistical function which helps understand how two numerical variables are related. So they basically show, or this function basically show their strength. So it ranges from minus one to plus one, where minus one say perfectly negative correlation. That means those two things goes uh, in a different direction. And uh, that's for example, for example, if you see at the places where you know you have uh, a huge presence of winter season, you will not see a lot of uh, or you know a lot of clothes which you usually wear in the uh, summer. So in that case, it will be like perfectly negative correlated where nobody is buying the summer clothes over there, but mostly the winter clothes. And that second condition, buying mostly the winter clothes, is clothes. It's basically the perfectly positive correlation where two different variables goes together um, with the uh, with the data or with the trend so from minus one to plus one like I said minus one negatively correlated plus one positively correlated but zero is also a part of this interval or this entire measurement where zero indicate that no correlation at all all right, so now let's go ahead and see the data and implement the correlation. So if you see, this is a salary data and you have employee name, gender, age and salary. And we will try to figure out the correlation between age and salary. That means if the age is increasing, whether the salary is increasing, then it is a positive correlation. And if the age is increasing and salary is not increasing, then it is a negative correlation. All right. So for that, what we can do is we can create a Corel table or we can say correlation table, whatever we want, not an issue. So we will say load and uh, we want to see, let's say by gender, right? So load gender comma Corel and in that we will specify age and salary. Doesn't really have uh, any issue if you have salary first or age first you can have any parameter because at the end of the day it will going to tell us the uh, age salary correlation so let's make it age cell corel the name of the column of this corel function right the output that it will going to give will be recorded in the age cell corel resident of uh, salary because from here from this salary table we are fetching gender which is here we are fetching age and salary which is here and here and then group by because we have a dimension gender and an aggregation function used which is a correlation all right so that's about it let's hit save let's load data it's done come to analysis in the corral this is basically uh, we will see with a table and over here we will select the dimension gender because uh, by gender we have taken the correlation and add one more dimension because we have already calculated each cell corral so no need to do this again and now measure and now we can see that in case of a female it's very close to perfect correlation which is 0.96 that is very very close to one so it shows that in case of uh, female gender, you have a perf near to perfect positive correlation. And in case of male also, somehow similar, but less than female, you have a positive correlation. So that basically indicates that in case of a female, it is highly likely that when the age is increasing, the salary is also increasing. But in case of a male based on this data it is less likely so this is basically the interpretation that one can make <clears throat> after that we can add one more measure over here and uh, let's go in the expression editor specify corel function specify this time let's take salary first because as i mentioned there is no issue 
if you take salary or age you know in any order of precedence so again you will see that female uh, when we calculate it in the front end is the same output in case of a male it's the same output and the overall correlation of the entire data is 0 0.9270 which is very close to perfectly positive correlation but as you can see the 0 0.91 and 96 you know it is coming somewhere in between like 0 0.927 or 0 0.93 is the overall correlation value but that's about how you can calculate the backend and front-end correlation and the benefit of uh, calculating in the back end let's say you would not like or you basically need a static table which is not changing then you can have this correlation as part of the back end calculation but if something you want a correlation to be changed based on the selections based on some dynamic changes you want you can put it in the front end and a small downside of this is that uh, click engine will have to calculate again and again based on the selection you are making so that will have an impact on uh, how on the performance of the application if the data set is huge if there are a lot of calculation that will slow down the performance but in this case since it is just displaying it uh, based on the dimension uh, on which you have calculated it it will not have a severe impact so take the logical balance and go ahead with that but that's about how you can calculate the correlation within click sense.